Hi there. Ever since I made my previous video on PR Boom Plus, two forks of the port have popped up. These are Pure Boom Plus UMAP Info, which I'll just call the UMAP Info fork, and DSDA Doom. I wanted to show you how to set these ports up, though I'll be focusing more on the UMAP Info fork since it has quite a bit of extra features that the more casually inclined players will appreciate. Before I do that, I should tell you about DSDA Doom. This one is a very new addition to the wide selection of ports developed primarily by Kroflob of the Doom Speed Devos archive, where the port gets its name. As you could probably guess, this port is centered around speedrunning with a slightly more pronounced emphasis on tool-assisted speedrunning. It has parameters to track and analyze your demos, and a very powerful tool is in here, the option to rewind. Holy cow! Look like Doop Nukem! <laughs> Another major selling point of the port is Heretic support, which is still being worked on but has made quite considerable progress already. However, this port is very likely the first widescreen port for Heretic with full vanilla demo recording and playback support. If you want to record demos for Heretic or just play them back in something with widescreen, then try this port out. Installing this port is rather easy. The latest versions are always posted in its thread on Doomworld. I'll link to the thread in the description. Just unzip the files to a new folder, put your iWads in a comfy spot next to them, then run whatever WAD you want with shortcuts, batch files, or any type of Doom launcher executable. Now that I've shown you one fork, let me show you the other, the UMAP Info fork. This one was initially put together by Grapzall. Yes, Grapzall. Yes. More recently though, a good portion of the work on it has been done by Fabian, the developer of Crispy Doom, along with a few other eager developers. It has some very nice options available, and I'll show you some of them right now. Support for widescreen HUDs and assets on any rendering mode, the STS and time counter inherited from DSDA Doom, more proper UMAP info support for things like episode selection, intermission screens, Keller blood for specific enemies, names for comp level parameters to go alongside the confusing numbers, an autoload folder where you can put any WAD you want in, and quite a few more features that I didn't mention and more to come in the future. This fork, as nice as it is, requires a bit more of a setup for the time being, the release version on GitHub hasn't been updated for a bit as of this video's recording, so it's missing out on some of the nice new features I mentioned. You can always check the Doomworld thread on the fork to see if someone has pre-compiled the latest development versions, but there's an alternative method I'll be showing you right now. On its GitHub page, select the Actions page, then check the latest runs belonging to the Master branch. If you want to experiment, you can always try the other branches that catch your eye, but the Master branch is likely going to be the most stable. Once you've selected a run, scroll down to the artifacts. I assume most people watching are using a 64-bit Windows machine. 64 bits. In that case, you want to download the VSX64 artifact. It contains the executables you'll need. But wait, we're not done here. There are no DLL files, and you'll need quite a few of them in order for this port to work. Thankfully, I have a RAR file full of them. That's in the description of this video. Download that and put it in the same folders as the executables and you're good to go. When you first start up the fork, you'll probably be wondering where the widescreen assets are. Well, you'll have to download those too. I'll link to them in the description. Each iWAD has assets that, if you wanted, could be put in the autoload folders for either all iWADs or just specific ones. There are also widescreen HUDs that you can download for a selection of your favorite PWADs, or unfavorites. These were originally built with GZ Doom in mind, but as long as the files in the wads are graphic lumps and not pings, you can load them in PR Boom plus UMAP info. You can convert the ones that are pings to Doom graphic lumps using programs like Slade. Just make sure that you don't mess up their palettes in the process. If you're wondering where you can set up the advanced HUD and the color blood on the UMAP info fork, I'm going to show you right now. Simply go to the setup menu, go to status bar HUD, Go to the second page and you'll see Showtime STS above status bar. As for the enemies for Color Blood, you can turn that on by going back into the setup menu and going to enemies and at the bottom you'll see Color Blood and Jibs. Now keep in mind that the Spectres won't be affected by Color Blood and neither will Lost Souls, so that's a difference from Crispy Doom if you were wondering about that. In my previous video I mentioned that Fluid Synth in PR Boom Plus sounds funky with any other sound font. Here's why. The default sample rate was 22050. That wouldn't do at all, will it? Thankfully, in the newer forks, the default is 44100. But if you want an extra boost, you can go to the configuration file and set it to 48000. Now your sound font should sound good on this port. 
No more need for port MIDI, unless you prefer the default wavetable sound font. The sound font I use is a take on the SC55. I'll link to it in the description. It needs a bit of game, but that can also be set up in the configuration file too. Personally, I use 150, but you can set it how you want. If you want to avoid some of these steps, feel free to download my personal configuration file. It has the sound font set up right, but you might have to rename the .sf2 file to what I have in there, or change the sound font to whatever you want. Some of these settings can also work in DSDA Doom, but I can't promise all of them will. With all this said, hopefully I've shown you how to set these ports up. I should also mention that GL Boom has been rendered unnecessary by both of these ports since the OpenGL renderer is built into the same executable now. So if you were wondering where that EXE went, it's now part of the UMAP info fork in DSDA Doom. If you have any other questions about the UMAP info fork, feel free to ask me in the comments, my Discord server, or Doom World. If you have any questions about DSDA Doom, the Doom World thread for that, or the Doom speedrunning Discord can also help with that. Thanks for watching, and until next time, toodaloo.